Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Breakfast with Bob from Challenge Daytona and the PTO 2020 Championship. My name is Bob Babbitt. We're brought to you by Captiva Spine, John Hall, Chevrolet, USA Triathlon, Foundation Risk Partners, and the PTO, the Pro Triathletes Organization. Two of our favorite people in the world, Jeff and Johnny Agar, kind enough to join us here at Challenge Daytona. Johnny, let's start with you, my man. How have you been doing? Oh, it's been, it's uh, been a tough year, but we're excited to be back racing again, and, and it's going to be fun tomorrow uh, doing the middle distance of, uh, of John Daytona. So. Yeah, so you guys are going to be doing that on Saturday? Yeah, and, yeah. And how have you been able to hang in there with training and everything with, with – yeah, you know, sometimes it's hard to train when there's no races, right? Right, right. But you know, it, there's always there's always the motivation for us. we we've been thinking about uh, Kona 2016 and and uh, using that as motivation to constantly keep working and and so it's been awesome to to uh, motivate each other too. So it, it's been really cool. So. I've been watching you walking a lot, my man. Yeah, uh, yeah, <laughs> yep. Yeah, I've, I've been constantly keeping up with that, trying to, you know, keep myself loose because not only is that important for races, it's important uh, as I go on through life, keep myself flexible and stuff so I can uh, easily perform like daily tasks and things like that. So. so Jeff, how important has just the fitness from all of this been for Johnny? It's really been a great motivator. You know, as you can imagine, just getting up and doing something just for the good of it is tough to do. Right. If you have something really uh, exciting to look forward to, then it's just a great motivator to, uh, to get him going. And I mean, that's a, the biggest byproduct of these races we've done. Um, it's probably made me, so I'll live a lot longer, but, uh, and be in better, you know, decent shape. But what it's done for Johnny, motivated him, be, being around athletes who are just some of the, the fittest and you know, the greatest athletes in the world, has been incredible motivation for him. Then he'll get up and, you know, keep working on his walking and doing better, and that just helps his overall physical fitness as well. So we're really, uh, we're really appreciative of the fact that, you know, what he's been able to get out of this racing uh, has been fantastic for him in, in life in general. Yeah, I always say that it's not just a race, you know, it's being around the athletes, um, learning from them, feeding off their energy, because that's really, really what pushes me to be better and really says, you know, how yeah. can I be better? And, and really, uh, that's, that's, when, that's been the most challenging thing for me this year is not being around everybody because yes. when you have energy to feed off of, it really helps you to keep going and stuff. So. Yeah, you've got to right. have something to motivate you. It's just tough every day. Even when racing is going on, it's tough. But without races, you have to have something to motivate you. And you know, just like the work you do with the Challenge Athletes Foundation, you know, you just you find inspiration from people. Um, and you can use it to help you uh, push beyond your limits. I'm betting of all the baseball players, former baseball players, you're probably one of the fitter major league <laughs> well, baseball players because <laughs> I think this guy, I think this guy, it's Johnny, has kept you fit. He had, well, if you think about, you know, until about 10 or 11 years ago, I'd never run more than two miles in my life. I know. And so, uh, I mean, baseball, you don't run a lot. You run sprints, no. and that's about <laughs> it. And so, uh, the endurance stuff, I know a lot of people will think, well, you must have been a good athlete. I was not. I was a sub-average athlete. Um, I could just throw really hard. And yes. That was it. So other than that, I had no uh, endearing and uh, athletic ability. Um, so this has been a, a huge transition for us, um, for both of us, for him walking yeah. the distances he walks and for me doing the stuff that we're doing. But, um, you know, you get around these kinds of people, the, uh, the endurance world, the, the athletes that are in it are yeah. incredibly motivating, super positive, constantly, you know, trying to help you figure out ways to go longer and do better. Um, it's a great community, as you're aware of. Yeah, and that's the hard part of not having racing mm -hmm. is that – getting being at a race the athletes the, the quote-unquote able-bodied athletes mm -hmm. they gain from you and johnny being there right they're motivated and inspired and a lot of people so, yeah. are yeah. a lot of people are sort of questioning gosh why am i doing this mm -hmm. can i do this and then they see you guys mm -hmm. together pushing your way through the race and they go well wait a second if they can do it i can do it well, yeah. well i think it goes both ways and, and it does so so it, it really helps me too in in the Hopefully, I can in, inspire others to, you know, uh, both ways. So I mean, it's been incredible. The uh, thousands of people that have contacted us that have said, I was never, an, you know, I never ran, never did endurance sports. They started doing 5Ks and longer, and people that say, I signed up for an Ironman or, a, you know, a challenge race mm -hmm. because we saw you guys. Um, it's incredible how many people have, have gotten a hold of us over the course of time. So it's been really cool. 
And and what is so you guys will be doing a, a half iron half yeah, distance half, half distance, distance uh, on, on Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, yeah we're, so we're training for a full distance again uh, in April. So um, just trying to keep ourselves in shape and keep pushing. You know, I'm, there's uh, you know a few dreams Johnny has, and um, uh, you know there he wants to try to get back to uh, the to the, famous to race the big Hawaii. show. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. Um, but we had a great opportunity. You know, challenge Roth in Germany. We did that a couple years back. It's an unbelievably it uh, challenging race, and uh, you get to meet Sebastian Kinley during that. But uh, it's really cool. But, you know, there's so many great races around the world, um, and just, we, we just really appreciate the opportunity we've been given. I've, ne I've, never, done, I've never done a race on a racetrack before. I so see. That, that's oh, going to be really right cool. That's, that's going to be, be pretty really fun. Cool. We may be the slowest thing that's ever gone wrong. <laughs> 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 no, I think that would be me. That would be me. It's always so good to connect with you guys. So and good I'm, to I'm, see you too. Yeah, Thank you. I'm glad you're keeping your dad healthy, my man. Trying yeah, to, yeah, to. yeah. Keep pushing him because he, he he keeps keep saying Johnny's killing me here. <laughs> All I want to do is go sit in the couch and watch TV. And Johnny's like, let's go for another run. Let's go for another walk. Well, let's go I, for I a know, swim. I know for sure. I see him on his trainer working so hard too. That that really pushes me. So yeah, I love it. So goes both ways. Jeff and Johnny Agar have been our guests. Thank you, guys. Have Thanks, fun man. on Saturday. Sounds great. Well, Thank dude. Thank you. You do the same. Again, it's breakfast with Bob from Challenge Daytona and the PTO 2020 Championship. Hold on. We'll be right back.